night, guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. Unbelievably over-the-top beautiful spring day now that the hailstorm has blown through and the hail is, hailstones have melted. Good God, here on this now gorgeous Wednesday, April 12th, 2017. So me and the little dog, we've been out in the woods looking for Bigfoot for the past couple of days. So I uh, had been gone for 52 hours and come back and notice I have 71 comments uh, here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, 71 comments. Good God, I, and uh, take me about an hour to go through them. <coughs> so anyway, I just, uh, let's pick one of these for the comment of the day. I would, uh, here's one about Hambone is a hypocrite because I use oil. Wow, you know, I have never thought of that. I have never thought of that. You know, it's so important for me to go in to, uh, to read my comments. It has never occurred to me that I am a hypocrite because I use oil. Well, you know, I've never had that comment in six years, never heard it. This man would have more respect for me. Edward Wolski would have more respect for me if I would live in a cave. I told Edward, I will respect you more if you get Barack Obama's dick out of your mouth. Uh, and then of course we have this, a, a man uh, commenting on one of my, my personals ads that I do every uh, February 14th. Uh, saying perhaps the reason that I don't have a girlfriend is that my honesty might scare them off. Well, it's not so much that my honesty scares them off as they don't want to fucking hear it. Anyway, but I, the comment of the day that I am going to share if my battery will stick around for one more minute. Good Lord, I'm getting ready to lose my battery. This is from my old buddy Groot. Groot. Uh, I guess he was co commenting on a on my quote of the day from my buddy uh, Vegematic about how Americans must have taken a stupid pill. This is my buddy from Canada, Vegematic talking about Americans taking a stupid pill. Take it away, Groot. Yes, I put the stupid pill of American propaganda in my mouth being born and raised in the U.S. And I am sure the influence took its toll. That being said, what I was told was the... What I was told what the math would be over 45 years ago would be in our near future is coming th through. Thank you, public school teacher. I, I don't know what Groot is, re is referring to here. Is Groot suggesting that in public school uh, that, that, that he was being taught about the limits to growth. Uh, obviously, I'm misunderstanding something or he's being ironic. Uh, I, I sure as shit uh, never had a, a, a teacher, even in college, talk about the math uh, coming true in 45 years. Okay. Now, I live in a world with seven and a half billion people and growing. And Americans are scared about their security over a lone wolf taking out 100 people, more or less. Wow. We Americans have bleeding hearts for a few 100 or 1,000 people out of 
seven and a half billion people, you know, implying the, the, the seven and a half billion people that are getting ready to be taken out that no one wants to hear about. I get it. I get it because the U.S. culture does not teach us about death. Well, we Americans will not worry about this subject in 20 years from now. Plus, I don't see Hambone spreading the word anymore 20 years in the future. Just my humble opinion. Thank you, Hambone, for not being optimistic about our future. Yeah, I spit out that stupid pill at 10 years old. That is why I am childless. The hamster wheel is great as abrupt climate change hits us. That, that came at the hamster wheel is great to abrupt climate change. Oh, until the hamster wheel is great until abrupt climate change hits us all. There you go. Thank you, Mr. Groot, for offering that analysis of the state of the planet. But uh, I'm going to wrap up this comment of the day. I'm sorry I don't have a quote of the day to share with you. I did not get a quote from Bigfoot, but I got to wrap this up and get to a new record-breaking climate change meltdown roundup rant. A new record has been broken on the mainstream media today. So you need to go listen to my climate change meltdown roundup rant, which I think I'm going to title something like, We Have Given Up, uh, which sums it up pretty well. But for this little rantlet, bye guys. It's a little long, I'm going to step on you.